Hello world. Um, been a while since I've given an update, but <coughs> it's been a pretty rough couple of weeks. I've just had, uh, well, I had uh, the chemo six days, twice a day. Pretty heavy stuff. Um, I was almost immediately nauseous. Um, I struggled to eat. Um, also, my, my taste of sweet is gone. So um, a lot of things taste strange now. It's amazing how important sweetness is, even if you don't have a sweet tooth because um, it changes the taste of a lot of food. Uh, I was put on a, uh, a line for food that went in through my uh, drip <coughs> um, so I could still get nutrients in and I had to try and eat, uh, learn to eat from the beginning. Uh, I ate a lot of Rice Krispies that seemed to go in. I've only just now for the last two days been eating properly. Um, during the time I've also had a lot of antibiotics to try and fix up what, the swelling in my jaw. Um, Good news is that that's um, very low. There's still a little bit of a problem, so they're still busy doing that. Um, been through the dip, my numbers are starting to go up, which is also good news, which means maybe pretty soon I get to go home. Uh, the only real problem I've got going at the moment, <coughs> which has been troubling, is um, I've had a fever the last few days. They're not sure where it's coming from. I've got an extra antibiotic to try and tackle whatever's going on. Um, I had a line that they put in your arm that they can sort of use for all the stuff. They've taken that out because they've been worried that might be the cause. Um, so we're not sure exactly what's going on there. Um, but we're waiting, um, we're hoping that my numbers increase again today and that the infection numbers go down and that the fever breaks and that um, that will all be sorted. And then if those things happen, I'll be ready to go home. Uh, might be a short while, might not, depends. Uh, Big problem though is um, <coughs> I didn't respond well enough to the chemo. Um, the idea was uh, after the chemo that the chemo was supposed to be gone and unfortunately um, when they checked the bone marrow there were still 10 to 15 percent leukemia cells in it so um, that's not good news. Um, they don't know, the doctors don't really know what to do with me so they've put me back on the bonatinib um, but I've got a higher dose we were busy doing a mutation analysis to see if I did mutate out of it or did I just have too little. Um, that's more because when they did the, it determined um, <coughs> how much bonitinib was in my system, I measured on 18 and the average is 35. So it looks like it's a bit low, but they're still not sure about the mutation. So that's still in analysis. Um, there's also an experimental uh, drug or medication. Um, theoretically, it should work for my situation, but it's not really been tested. But um, <coughs> my doctor has asked if we can get it and use it for me. So um, that's busy going on. Thing is, if they do do that, instead of just giving me the pills and let me take it from home, they want to start it in the hospital so they can see how I react to it because they um, don't know enough about it. So. Um, <coughs> At the moment, we're working on getting the new pull. Uh, till then, I use the old one, the panatinib. Um, and I will also then, um, between get before I get the new pull, they will let me go home for a while. Um, we have to see how long or what happens. Um, I hope it's for a, more than just a couple of days, but I mean, even if it's a couple of days, it'll be nice to be home. Uh, I do miss uh, being at home, uh, miss uh, my cats. Haven't seen them for more than three weeks now. Shame, and one of them is getting very angry, and it's unlike her to be an angry kitty. Um, but I think it's because um, she's not happy with the situation, uh, and that I'm gone. Um, and Miss uh, being with my wife, she's at least does come to visit me every day. <coughs> but I mean, it's different than when you're at home with your wife, and now you'd sort of you know just relax together and talk about things. I mean, the hospital's always weird. Um, it is really a long time to spend, like, you know, getting close to a month in hospital is a long time. <coughs> it can take a toll on you. Um, I've had good days and bad days. I mean, like the day we were told that they didn't know what to do with me anymore because the leukemia was really bad. We really struggled. Um, but we had some friends out of Belgium who came over, uh, specifically sort of uh, when they heard what had happened. Um, and we had a good time with them, a good talk, shared uh, Bible texts, uh, prayed. Um, they were very encouraging. Um, it's amazing how God brings people along your way. And in the beginning you're not sure what's going to happen. And then later on you see how uh, you can be there for each other and help each other and that sort of thing. Um, 
but we really had um yeah it's really been a, a rough time uh, i mean i mean that, that period with the nausea was bad but at least that's um now gone like i said the last two days i've been eating properly again uh, not a lot but properly whereas before um i'd hardly been eating um hope is that i can go home very soon um, but like I said, we're just waiting for my numbers to get right, my blood numbers, and for the infection numbers to come down. And, and that will be that. Um, I do thank for everyone who's uh, been supporting me uh, in prayer or however else. Uh, you, you know, the prayers are really great to you. The Lord's really been my strength during this time. Um, I thank my family, my wife, uh, for their support, for always being there, um, for friends, for everyone you know it's just been um it's been a difficult period with some hard news sometimes but you know we're trusting god for a miracle and so we'll see what he does in the future i still believe i can get to a very old age and so we'll see how that works um but for now aim is to get home and then to get the leukemia back under control anyway thank you for listening and uh, I hope God blesses you all for the rest for the day and um, see you soon.